What's up guys, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to fix every error in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First things first, I have this script here, and it's a local script called script doesn't run. So, when your script is not running, uh, it usually means that it's just not in a place where it can run, or it's not the right type of script. If I press play here, as you can see, this script right here, which should run, it's enabled, it does not at all. So, if I want it to run on the client, but it's a local script, local scripts don't actually run on the client like regular scripts do. You actually have to put them in starter player script but if you do want them to run on the client somewhere else like workspace you can actually add a regular script and then just change the run context to client and that will make it run on the client so now if i just get rid of this script and press play here you will see that it says hello world there we go and it is on the client so if you have a local script and you want it to run anywhere else besides player scripts or anything like that just make it a regular script with the run context to client also if you don't have a local script or a regular script and it's just not working at all make sure that the script is actually in the workspace or server script service or starter character scripts all right on to the next one we have an error where your script just stops working and it won't actually give you an error but the script will just stop working at all so if i just run the script you will see that it prints script is working but it never prints script finished and the reason for that is because it's infinitely yielding and what that means is it's always waiting for this it's always waiting for this and nothing else can run so the way you get rid of this or fix it is you can easily just delete this line of code or you can add the thing that it's waiting for so if it's waiting for a part in workspace you can just instance.new part workspace. And what that will do is it will allow us to continue. So there we go, it says script finished, and there's a part in workspace. All right, cool. So this one is the easiest to fix, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to disable that one, and then I'm going to go to the next one. So we have script exhaustion timeout. Uh, this one's pretty simple. So if I get rid of this break right here, you will get an error. And what this error is, is basically the loop is running way too fast and way too long. So my Roblox Studio will actually just crash. And this one is really easy to prevent. You just have to remember for adding like a loop or anything, you need to always add a task.wait or some sort of yield. So what you can do is actually add the number and then I just made an if statement So if the number is greater than hundred then we break it or if you don't want to do this and you always want it to work You can just do task out wait But this one will always keep it from infinitely looping and you don't want loops that infinitely loop You just want it to just loop once So if you have like a game loop going on you could actually just have a value and then change the value to start it And then that will make it loop automatically you don't need a while loop but anyways on to the next one Now this one says part is not a valid member of class name. So how this works is basically if something doesn't exist then it's going to give this error so if we do workspace.part and we print part uh, we're going to get an error because part is not a valid member of workspace workspace now this one's the super easy to fix all you have to do is do workspace find first child part instead of dot part never really use dot when it comes to workspace and all that stuff unless like it's guaranteed that it's there and even then still i recommend using find first child uh, because this one cannot return errors at all so this one will either return nil or it'll give you part this doesn't just mean like workspace and stuff it could also be like a function so you could do workspace like clear players and if you did this and then ran it it would also say invalid member and that basically just means that this doesn't exist so for functions and stuff make sure you have the spelling right for example if you did like clear all children like this and it's not capitalized it's gonna say that error because it needs to be capitalized so make sure you get your capitalization right and make sure that the thing actually exists all right on to the next one infinite yield possible so this one we already went over pretty much but all this really does is if we run it it'll say infinitely yielding or infinite yield possible and the rest won't run so to fix this just do find for child part instead or you could create a number where it checks for that many long but uh, you can also do wait for child and then if you don't want this to infinitely yield you can also add a timeout so if you add a three to the wait for child it'll give it three seconds and then it'll stop because it'll wait for three seconds instead of just going forever so that works too then you can go to this one right here attempt to index no with index uh, the way that we fix this one is if we just get rid of this map.building you'll see that we get an error that says attempt to index nil with part and what that means is that part like building it doesn't exist if you're trying to index nil it means you're trying to get something that doesn't exist so basically part right here we're trying to index like nothing with part so if we're trying to get part from nothing and you can't do that so you just have to make sure building actually exists so when something says attempt to index nil with part when something says attempt to index nil with anything all you have to know is that you're trying to get something from nothing so go to that line look what like is saying is what you're 
indexing so if you're trying to index part but it says attempt to index nil go to the other thing behind it and make sure that actually exists and now if we ran this as you'll see it says nil which is good uh that's no error at all all right on to the next one this is the final one anything else that you have problems with you can ask the dev forum or just look for any error on the dev forum because there's tons of people there or you can just go ahead and join my discord server and i'll help you there all right guys that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one peace